Hey everyone, it's Mark with Maine WP, and today I'm going to do, I guess it's what you'd call a little bit of a reaction video. I was just introduced to this plugin called Independent Analytics, and it's a Google alternative, which is GDPR compliant. It's free to start. Of course, they do have a pro version. It's an analytics dashboard inside of your WP admin. Now, what's cool about it also is that they have just released a Main WP extension, which means that after you've installed the independent analytics plugin onto your child site, you can then in your dashboard install the main WP independent analytics extension. I assume it means that you're going to be able to look at all your data within your dashboard. I've never installed this before. This is a first time seeing it, using it. We are going to give it a shot and see what happens. The first thing you'll see is that it is available in the WordPress repository. And then you'll find that also we have the independent analytics for main WP plugin, which is also in the WordPress repository. So I'm going to start from the main WP dashboard and I'm going to install the independent analytics into one of my child sites. So if I go to my sites here, you can see that I have about 10 sites that I've created. And uh, let's, uh, I don't know, Mary Moose Motors looks like it needs uh, some analytics. So we're gonna go ahead and install the independent analytics. So we can install from wordpress.org, as you can see. And I'm just gonna type independent analytics. And I'm going to do a search and there it comes up. I'm going to click install plugin and we're going to choose Mary Moose Motors. We're going to activate after installation and we are going to overwrite the existing version. So I'm going to complete the installation. And now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead and sync it up. I always like to do a sync after I install plugins just to make sure that it sees everything. And now that we have it all synced up, we should see that if we go to manage plugins and we select active and we go Mary Moose Motors, show plugins, it should show that independent analytics is installed. So it does seem to be there and it is active because here I have selected that I only want to see my active plugins. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to install into my dashboard the independent analytics for main WP extension that they've created. So I'm going to go to my WordPress admin and I'm going to add a new plugin off. I'm going to do a search for independent WP and it should show up and we're going to go ahead and install that and then activate it. And so now with independent analytics installed, I should theoretically be able to go to my sites. And if I go to my individual site, which was the Mary Moose Motors, there should be independent analytics. Okay, so it says that no analytics data was found. Make sure that this site is using independent analytics and that main WP has recently synced with it. Oh, I did not hit sync after I installed it. Now we have analytics for the last 30 days. And of course, there's not been any hits or anything like that. So it's really quite simple. I didn't even have to visit my child site uh, I just installed it all from the main WP dashboard. Then I just uh, synced up after I installed the independent analytics from my main WP dashboard from the WP admin and boom, we've got it. This is pretty cool. I would highly encourage you to go and check it out. If you are a little bit tired of Google Analytics and you want something that's GDPR compliant, it is completely made with WordPress in mind. As we saw, it had just been updated a week ago. So it looks like they update fairly regularly. I'm anxious to see where they go with this. We constantly look for people who are creating extensions for main WP. If you are making an extension for main WP, please contact us. We'd love to do a video like this where I show you the walkthrough. So that's pretty much it. It looks simple. It was obviously easy to install. It worked like it was supposed to. 
and I'd be curious to hear uh, your thoughts on it. So thank you very much. And like I said, if you are building an extension or interested in building an extension for main WP, please let us know. Even if you need a little bit of a hand holding or some, some pointers in the right direction, we do have a guide that shows you how to develop with main WP. We'll have that in the links on the YouTube video and we'd love to work with you. So um, thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. And thanks for using main WP.